Well, after drawing huge crowds and critical acclaim in major cities around the world, a one of a kind artistic experience is making its North American debut right here in Atlanta. Van Gogh, the immersive experience uses state of the art technology to put visitors right inside the world of the legendary Dutch artist. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live at Atlanta's Pratt Pullman District this morning. And Paul, you're getting a first look inside, it's setting the setting the atmosphere for us as well with that music. Absolutely, it's yeah. It's it it's incredible too it's beautiful and i gotta tell you the only problem with this exhibit is there's so much it's hard to know where to point the camera there's so much going on in here and now it's open there are crowds in here right now and what's funny is i was chatting with one of the workers who said you know when you have a start time of 10 o'clock typically at attractions people start to trickle in and they're maybe 10 15 minutes late for this everybody was right on time they were lined up and ready to go which is what mario iacampo was certainly hoping for this is the visionary behind van gogh the immersive experience. So great to have you here in Atlanta. You must be thrilled to finally be open here in North America. Absolutely. We've been planning this for over a year. Uh, so, and, uh, you know, it took us a long time to settle on the Pullman Yards. Right. Which is, you know, but in the end, it was really an easy choice. You know, yeah, the, well, let's talk about the venue. It's a beautiful space, and it really seems almost tailor-made for this. Absolutely. You know, these older uh, uh, buildings have a lot more uh, charm inside. And right. They have their own, they bring their own culture to it. And, and as you look around, you know, and, and what I like about these kind of buildings is that you put your art, but you're not afraid to let the building come out. You don't have right. to hide everything, you know. There's all Old, there's old lifts in here. There's old yes. steel. There's yes. uh, there's old um, uh, like you see the there's bottles of steam. Yeah, you see the bones everywhere. of the building yeah, in uh, here. One hundred percent. And so we, we we wanted to augment that feeling. And when you go inside the immersive room, it has that cathedral feeling, which right. is which is you know spectacular. Uh, yeah. You know, over forty feet high. Uh, so the audience is really feeling the size of the building right. and, and, and you know the and the immense immense nature of this whole site. Well, that's the thing. This is so larger than life. And so you need a place where this will be larger exactly. than life. Let's walk around the corner into the immersive section here. So what do you want people to feel when they when they step into this world, when they walk into this room? What I want them to, to, to feel, what the objective was originally, if you like, is for them to have a 35, to, uh, the, the experience lasts 35 minutes, but they yeah. can stay longer if they like. The idea is to, is to come in here and, and just immerse yourself. Just mm -hmm. Forget about everything else. Listen to the music. Uh, let let the visuals transport you. Like right now, we're in the phase of his life where, we, where he was in the convent, and so it's much more dynamic right. because we're we're trying to make people feel the the frustrations he was yeah. having, the the dark part of his life, if you want. And so you see a lot of tunnels. But this is what he, this is the life. And, and we have to remember he committed himself. He felt he needed to to get away from everything. Wow. But having said that. The part in the convent was mo part of his most prolific part of his life, where he created the no kidding. huge amount of his paintings wow. when he was in the convent, because it was already someone, you know, he was only what 28 to 37 when he when he created, right? Right. It's only nine years, and so he was already creating at a prolific level. Now he's committed himself to a convent with, with no distractions. Yeah, and I don't know if people at home can even tell, but I mean, the music is loud. It is a full body experience. Exactly. You you feel it in your yeah. chest, and you feel it all around you. And what I love is you have these chairs here, and people can just yeah. take it in the, and, and for me that was part of the uh, the chairs are part of the addition if you want to the Zen experience people can just be just you know just be, relax you know right. be at home they can sit on the floor if they like and, and in this city we're not seeing much of that but in a lot of cities you see groups of people families sitting on the floor we have benches we have chairs and, and people or people can walk around if they like and, right. and see a different part of the experience but the whole idea is that we don't impose on them how they're going to enjoy the experience right. we really we really let them live that. But what's amazing is that nobody's talking, nobody's distracted. You look around here and people are so yeah. immersed. I mean, that's that is the word. They're immersed. They're they're immersed and they're I think they're captivated by what's going on right. with the music because it's happening. There's so much happening all around you that you know you look and you you know, you're, to to, cap, to capture everything you almost have to stay twice. Yes. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah, for sure. Well, we've loved being here this morning, sir. Thank you for being here in Atlanta, waking up early for us. We oh, appreciate it. No problem. It. I enjoyed it. Thank yeah, you very much. Great to see you. So again, this incredible exhibit, Van Gogh, the immersive experience runs through November. But I got to tell you, tickets are going fast. He told us in the eight o'clock hour they've sold about 200,000 already. So you got to snap them up fast. And sorry, Buck and Sharon, you can send me all the direct messages you want. I got no pull around here. OK, you know, I'm just waiting for those for those texts from you, too. I already well, got an invite. You know what? It's OK because you don't have any <laughs> okay. pull around here Good. either, Paul. So it's, it's true. Fun. You've got your own connections. <laughs> you, you don't need my non-existent ones. <laughs> all right, Paul, Thanks, thank Paul. you.